Okay, so last week I watched a demonstration as Ana did on how they're going to be adding AI to our processes, our projects, and our task management in Asana, which is great. There are a few things that we've seen that they are adding AI for that. But the one that concerns me the most is the way they are going to introduce project status updates, like almost with one click, and task management, which is great. But if you don't make sure you have systems in place to keep an order in your organization. I'm talking about task, updates of the task, and making sure that everyone keeps their work up to date. Then whatever this AI provides in the status updates will not be exactly the information we need to see. So yes, it will highlight whenever you have an overdue task or it will do certain things. But I'm not so um, surprised about that because that's something we can fix by now without AI using the proper rules in our projects. So whenever I work with someone in their Asana, I not only see one project as a silo, I see the entire organization, I see the entire team, how they work, how they communicate, so that the entire team works like this well-oiled machine. And we avoid having those things. We avoid having overdue tasks. We avoid having tasks without updates. We avoid having projects with overdue um, start and end date. We avoid having projects without project status updates. All of that is something that by now, if you create a system, you can have it. So you don't need, like, yes, you will need AI, uh, obviously, at some point to help you expedite the work, but you can have by now today a system that helps you in that. So today I want to talk about one of those systems that starts with boundaries and our tasks, the way we manage my task. Part of that system to have this well all in machine is to put boundaries whenever someone assigns a task to us that we are not the right person to work on that or that we just don't have the time and capacity to work on that this week and then this person that requested the task didn't took the time to check on your workload or you already have a process for certain things and then this person is jumping that process. So we fix that with rules Automation, remember, whenever I say rule or automation, is rules in Asana. So you can actually automate that. And the way we do it is from my task, because again, it's boundaries you need to put. Sometimes we don't like to say no to things. And this is a nice way to learn to say no. So I have these rules in Asana that is basically uh, something that will give us an answer to four scenarios. Whenever you just don't have the time or you are not the right person or you can ask someone else to help you with that in the meantime or you just simply already have a process for that and the person needs to understand that they need to follow that process. So let's see those scenarios. Let's start with the first one. I am not the right person for this task. And that happens a lot. Sometimes we're being asked to do something just because this person just, I don't know, thinks that you have to do it for whatever reason, but you know you're not the right person. You know there's someone else to do that. We have this task triage um, custom field. So whenever you, all you need to do to say no is to select that field from my task. It will remove you as the assignee of the task. It will clear the assignee and it will add a nice comment, hey, the task creator. And then it will say, I am not the right person for this. Reassign it to someone else that can help you with this. Thanks. Very nice. It's saying no, but with Asana. The second one, you probably can work on that, but you want to else to ask someone, let's say a VA or someone else to work to help you work on that in the meantime. So you can say, hey, like you will select the custom field. Can you help me with this? And then it will add that comment. Hey, it will tag the person. Can you help me with this? It will basically write 
whatever custom field you selected. So in this case, we are selecting, can you help me with this? So I don't know if you have noticed, this is one of the newest features of Asana. This is variables in our rules, which is really cool. And then what we do in that case, because there's two parts of this, you are asking this person, like you are the right person to do that, but you're asking someone else to help you expedite the work and to start doing something so that you, then you can check on that later. So for that, we also have like this admin work project very simple. Whenever these things happen, it will be multi-home to that project. And then we have another rule to follow up on that. Okay. So we will check on that later. The other scenario is when you just, you can do it, but you don't have the time right now. You will probably work on that next week or you will work on that uh, next month. You can easily change the due date of the task, but with all of these scenarios, we measure anything that's coming outside of our processes or any incoming requests that then we can evaluate where those requests and how we can put them in a real process so that we don't have all these tasks jumping in our tasks outside of the processes we have in Asana. So what we do in those cases is that we use that custom field to identify whenever we are pushing something for next week or we are pushing something for next month. So it's basically that selecting the custom field and move it for next week or selecting that custom field and move it for next month. And it's only for tracking purposes. We want to track where are those tasks that we're pushing for a later date. Last one, danger zone. There's a process for that. Whenever you know that there's a process for that, again, this is another way to say no in a nice way, but not saying no to the task, saying no to the way that they ask you to do something that you already have a process for that. Maybe it's a design request, you're the designer and you already have a process for the, your design request. There's a form that you create and then it will go to the right uh, people, to the right place. So then your son, please follow the system. You use that field, it will remove you from the assignee it will remove the due date from the task. It will close the task so we avoid having all these duplicate tasks going around there. That happens a lot. And then it will add a comment using variables saying, hey, it will tag the task creator. Please follow the process we have in place for this kind of request. Visit there and then we tag the playbook we have in Asana where we have all our SOPs, processes, guidelines, all of that. So they need to go there and search for that process if they don't know the process. So that's basically what we have here in Asana as a way to put boundaries so that uh, people knows exactly how to say no or that they can organize their time and push it to a later date, ask for someone else to help them on that or just tell them no, go through the process we have in place for the task. So the last one, the second part, when you are asking for someone else to help you on that is this rule, part two. Whenever you unassign it because you are asking for someone else to help you on that in the meantime, we add a follow-up rule that is when the task is due today, we, we want to avoid at all costs having overdue tasks. And we want to make sure that whenever someone asks us for something, we deliver it on the time. So if it's due today, we ask here, hey, can you give me an update on this? Thanks. Simple as that. And then you will get notified whenever you receive the update and then you can go ahead and deliver whatever you were requested. So with that, I finalized showcasing to you this kind of system that you can put in place to make sure that you keep all your tasks up to date.